The Red Deer Regional Airport is like a gold mine in your backyard that you don't know about. Essentially, it's been underutilized. Yeah, the airport is definitely underutilized and, and per perhaps a little bit underappreciated uh, asset. Um, there is a tremendous uh, amount of infrastructure here. Uh, we have tremendous capabilities. We just have to focus on marketing it um, and ensuring that everyone is aware that it exists and that we're here. If we can get the usage up, we can get more funding for repair and maintenance. If we get better repair and maintenance, we'll get better air service. The amount of travelers is key to the future success of the Red Deer Regional Airport. I believe that um, through time the airport will continue to see uh, more and more usage as, as this area continues to grow. Recognizing that the Highway 2 corridor is one of the fastest growing regions in, in North America and that the Calgary and Edmonton airports uh, will only be able to handle so much traffic. It's what plagues many regional airports. Like Red Deer, Medicine Hat needs to get passengers onto their daily flights to Calgary. For 100 people, we have 0.5 travel, 0.5. I mean, this is the lowest. Calgary, on the other hand, has the highest in Canada. There's a high propensity to travel by, uh, by central Alberta uh, communities, um, and there's disposable income to do that. And so uh, those are key ingredients and very important ingredients, and certainly uh, we have them in spades. Those numbers don't lie, they're facts. The data that we have shows that, um, you know, in terms of origin, destination, passenger traffic coming out of central Alberta postal codes, that about 75,000 people use Calgary and Edmonton airports to go to Vancouver. And about 30,000 people use Edmonton and Calgary airports to go to Kelowna. So now we know why Northwestern Air is the main passenger airline service at Red Deer Regional Airport. Dennis Cooper of Skywings calls it one of the last pieces of the puzzle. The scheduled service is an essential element to, to making this airport a complete airport for the community. And so people will start looking at the Red Deer Airport as an essential link to the outside world. Community support is often looked at as the way to attract more airlines like Air Canada Jazz and WestJet. Nanaimo is banking on it. If we can demonstrate that the community is behind these projects, the community will support the aircraft if they are going to be designated for direct non-stop service to Calgary and Edmonton. That's when the airlines will be more supportive again, and, and I think we're going to see it come to fruition. They worked hard to get it done, and, and um, I'm optimistic they'll have it. The Red Deer Regional Airport has many positives in favor of a profitable future for scheduled passenger service, undeveloped land to extend their runway, the support of the city and county, and a growing population with disposable income. The only thing missing is community commitment. As we have newer and newer people in the area, they're looking at other options and they're looking to the new upstart airlines like Northwest to say, hey, I can get to Cologne in an hour. So this is going to be an opportunity for the citizens of, of central Alberta to capitalize on this service. There are numerous things that we're putting in place uh, to ensure that we continue to grow our relationship with the community, partnerships with Red Deer Economic Development, with uh, Central Alberta Access to Prosperity, with the Chamber of Commerce, with Tourism Red Deer. We're focused on building relationships, but also with uh, young people in the community um, and with, uh, with the community at large. With over 200 employees, the Red Deer Regional Airport directly affects the capital dollars spent in Red Deer and surrounding area. It seems to only make sense to support your local airport and keep them up in the air.